In this video, we are going to learn how to find the limits of trig functions. And we also have three equations that are going to help us to do so. Now the first one is the limit of sine x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. The second one we have the limit of cos x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. And the third one, the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 is also equal to 1. Now we are going to use this table to validate these three equations and you can as well confirm the values in the table using your calculator but make sure that your calculator is in the radian mode. So we are going to start from the first one that is the limit of sine x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. So given that the value of x in radians is 0 0.2 then the value of sine x is 0 0.1986693. As x reduces to 0 0.1, the value of sine x also reduces to 0 0.0998334. And as x further reduces to 0 0.01, getting closer to 0, we have the value of sine x to be 0 0.009998. So as long as the value of x gets closer to 0, you realize that the value of sine x also gets closer to 0. Hence, this equation is true. The limit of sine x as x approaches 0 is equal to 0. Now let's talk about the second one. We have the limit of cos x as x approaches 0 to be equal to 1. So from the table, when x is 0 0.2, we have cos x to be 0 0.9800666. And when x reduces to 0 0.1, we have the value of cos x to be 0 0.9950042 and as the value of x further reduces to 0 0.01 getting closer to 0 we have the value of cos x to be 0 0.9999500 also getting closer to 1 so this equation is also true the limit of cos x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1 now let's talk about the third one that is the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 is also equal to 1. So when x is equal to 0 0.2, we have sine x over x to be 0 0.9933467. And then as the value of x reduces to 0 0.1, we have sine x over x to be 0 0.9983342. And then as x further reduces to 0 0.01, we have the value of sine x over x to be 0 0.9999833 so that makes this equation also true that as x approaches 0 the value of sine x over x also approaches 1 or is equal to 1 so based on these three equations we are going to solve some examples on how to find the limits of trig functions so for the first example we are going to find the limit of sine 3x divided by x as x approaches 0. Now because we have 3 here, we are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3. So we have the limit of sine 3x divided by x as x approaches 0. And then we are going to multiply 3 and then 3. So now let's multiply across. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of 3 sine 3x and then divided by 3x. Now this 3 is a constant. So we are going to transport this 3 behind the limit. So that's going to be 3 the limit as x approaches 0 of sine 3x divided by 3x. Now you recall that the limit of sine x divided by x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. And then similarly if you have the limit of sine y divided by y as y approaches 0 is also equal to 1. Now because we have 3x here and then 3x here, we are going to let y be equal to 3x. So that we have 3 lem y as it approaches 0 and then we have 
sine y divided by y because we have y and then y here the limit of sine y divided by y as y approaches 0 is equal to 1 so we are going to have 3 times 1 which is equal to 3 so the limit of sine 3x divided by x as x approaches 0 is equal to 3 now let's solve the second example so for the second example we are going to find the limit of sine 4x divided by 5x as x approaches 0 now because we have 4 in here we are going to multiply top and bottom by 4 so we have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine 4x divided by 5x times 4 over 4 now let's multiply across so we have the limit as x approaches 0 of 4 sine 4x divided by 4 times 5x now because we want to make words in the brackets for both the numerator and the denominator to be the same we are going to interchange the positions of 4 and 5 so we have the limits as x approaches 0 of 4 sine 4x divided by 5 times 4x now 4 over 5 is a constant so we are going to transport that behind the limit so we have 4 over 5 lem as x approaches 0 of sine 4x over 4x so like the situation in the first example we are going to substitute y in place of 4x so we say that let y be equal to 4x so we have 4 over 5 the limit as y approaches 0 of sine y divided by y then the limit of sine y divided by y as y approaches 0 is equal to 1 so we have 4 divided by 5 times 1 and that is equal to 4 over 5 let's solve the third example so for example 3 let's find the limit of tan x divided by x as x approaches 0 now from calculus we know that tan x is equal to sine x over cos x so we are going to substitute that here so we are going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x divided by cos x or divided by x now because x is dividing we are going to multiply by 1 over x that is the reciprocal of x so that is lem as x approaches 0 of sine x divided by cos x times 1 over x now we have sine x here we have x here so we are going to interchange the positions of x and cos x so that is going to be the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x divided by x times 1 over cos x now let's split the limit so we are going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine x divided by x multiplying the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over cos x now the limit of sine x divided by x as x approaches 0 is 1 so we have 1 multiplying and then you recall that the limit of cos x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1 then the limit of 1 over cos x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1 over 1 because the limit of cos x as x approaches 0 is 1 
so 1 over 1 is equal to 1 so here we are going to have 1 times 1 which is equal to 1 so the limit of tan x over x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1 so for example 4 we are going to find the limit of x over tan 5x as x approaches 0. We know tan x is equal to sin x over cos x. So tan 5x is equal to sin 5x over cos 5x. So let's substitute that here. So we have the limit as x approaches 0 of x divided by sine 5x over cos 5x so that's going to be the limit as x approaches 0 of x over 1 times cos 5x divided by sine 5x now let's interchange the positions of sine 5x and then 1 and at the same time let's multiply top and bottom by 5 so that's going to be the limit as x approaches 0 of x divided by sine 5x times cos 5x divided by 1 times 5 over 5 so we are going to multiply 5 across so that is the limit as x approaches 0 of 5x divided by sine 5x times cos 5x over 5. Now what we are going to do is we are going to split the limit. So we are going to have the first part to be the limit as x approaches 0 of 5x divided by sine 5x times the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over 5 times cos 5x. Now the limit of sine 5x divided by 5x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. However, here we have 5x as numerator and then sin 5x as denominator. But 1 over 1 is still 1. So the limit as x approaches 0 of 5x divided by sin 5x is 1. And then multiplying. Now because 1 over 5 is a constant, we are going to transport 1 over 5 behind the limit. So we have 1 over 5 multiplying. Now the limit of cos x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. So the limit of cos 5x as x approaches 0 will still be equal to 1. So we have 1 over 5 times 1. Now 1 times 1 over 5 times 1 is equal to 1 over 5. So for the last example, we are going to find the limit of sine 3x divided by sine 8x as x approaches 0. Now because we have 3 and 8, we are going to multiply top and bottom by 3, 8 and by x. So we are going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine 3x divided by sine 8x times 3 over 3 times 8 over 8 and then times x over x so we are going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine 3x divided by 3x times 8x divided by sine 8x 
now we've been able to cater for sine 3x and then 8x for the numerator and then for the denominator sine 8x and then 3x so we are left with 3 for the numerator and then 8 for the denominator now 3 over 8 is a constant so let's transport it behind the limit so we have 3 over 8 and then the limit as x approaches 0 of sine 3x divided by 3x times 8x divided by sine 8x now let's split the limit so we have 3 over 8 and then the limit as x approaches 0 of sine 3x divided by 3x times the limit as x approaches 0 of 8x divided by sine 8x now the limit of sine 3x divided by 3x as x approaches 0 is 1 times the limit of 8x divided by sine 8x as x approaches 0 is 1 over 1 which is still 1 now 3 divided by 8 times 1 times 1 is still 3 over 8